I'm Kara Liebe, and don't mind my dancing. I have one more poem for my weekly poem poetry readings for Be Mine. Can you believe it? It's been all the same day. The About Be Mine day is the day I do home readings. So I'm just excited because I've managed to get through all of them. Okay. It's okay. I'm a little weird. It's fine. It's fine. All right. So the last poem in the collection is Will You. I have a tendency. Will You is um a little bit older than number one, but I have a tendency to put the two together. I, I don't. I guess you can see why. Um, they're very similar. Uh, the concept is the same, but the, they're written slightly differently. So you realize that many times that if you read enough of my poems, I have the exact same concept, the same idea, but it's written in a slightly different way. And sometimes it's like read, reading a sonnet and a limerick. I hope you know what the, those are very common, well-known poem types. Uh, many times I don't actually do specific structures. However, I do do limericks and I do do sonnets, and I have the ability to write the exact same concept in a sonnet and a limerick, and you're going to get very different results. You can't get the same results in that case. So if you listen, go back and listen to number one, and then after listening to Will You, you'll see a lot of the similarities to it. Will You is the older poem. Okay? So, poetry reading. Will You. Will you be my everything? Will you stand by my side? Will you answer all my questions? Will you offer up suggestions? Will you listen when I whisper mine? Will you allow me to fall? Will you help me out? Will you hold my hand? Will you draw me in? Will you hold me tight? Will you be forever mine? Will you answer by tonight? So this is a person who's doing a proposal, but they're doing it in such a roundabout fashion that they're clearly nervous and worried and not expecting a positive response. Whereas number one, they have that roundabout way about them, but then they end up being like, this isn't working. I need to blatantly ask you because they have the confidence. So it says a lot about who I am as a poet and what I moved through. Will You isn't that much older than Poem A Day May uh, 2020. Clearly, I said all the poems were related to Jiang. And Jiang has only been in my life since... Well, technically, this is the Turkish concept. Um, I first heard about Jiang back in Sandy when he came here for the concert as Big Bang. I even got to listen to Fantastic Baby over the radio because they were all celebratory towards him coming and not canceling his concert. Um, but I thought he wasn't who he was. And then later on, someone pointed out Jiang to me again as G-Dragon because I made a comment about G-Dragon because I wanted to be a dragon. So I created a new fee, a new mark, G-Dragon. And I blew him off then too. So it wasn't until 2016 that I found him in 2017 when I realized who he was. Uh, 2016, I was listening to Big Bang. I was listening to G-Dragon and I thought he was a really cool singer, but I had no interest in the person because I didn't know the person because I don't actually love G Dragon. I love Jiang. In 2017, I ended up, because of Saro, I ended up learning about Quan Jiang, the person, and that's when I fell in love. And that's, and it's been forever since, you know, so 2017. So this one was written between 2017 and 2020, and I was definitely not confident in anything related to Jiang back then. Okay? It's cool. Um, and here, I am a lifetime writer who has been figuring out publishing since 2013. Uh, Kat Hartley is Todd Levin, is Kat Gillette, is Catherine Gillette. That's my full name. Each one is slightly different without being actually different. Kat. Catherine Gillette is the human who wears the masks. Cat Hartley Bay was the original pen name used. Now it's for the fictional adult works that are non-triggering, generally anyway. There's a few caveats in there. 
Like, if you're getting a romance book, I'm not going to be like, there's consensual sex in here, I'm parting it as a trigger. Because that technically can be triggering to certain people. I would be marking it as like, you're reading romance, I'm pointing out it's a content warning, however. So, Cat Heart Libre can have content warnings, they cannot have trigger warnings. If it is expected and not extreme, it will fall into that. Like, rape would definitely fall into triggering category if there's rape. It's definitely Todd Lieben. If it's consexual sex, that gets a content warning. And it should, because there's a lot of people who have issues with that. I couldn't read it as a teen, but that's not what I mean. It's many people who go through a lot of sexual harassment, sexual assault, and abuse will end up needing that content warning because it, for them it's a legit trigger even if it's consented to. Todd Lima was created to make readers ready to be hit over the head with concerns. Cat Hart Lebe is nonfiction and non-adult works. And then there's my chatter. So read the caption um, if you want the link to be mine uh, or page or the Amazon link. And I hope you listen to more of my videos. I hope I create more videos and post them. It won't be in this shirt. I love you. Cat Hart Liebe, signing out.